album here, I think. Hmm. Okay, so is it? So it must it must be my e I mean my Wi-Fi, right? Hold on, let me see. Don't tell me what to play. <sighs> let me see. Now, you guys, before this, let's see what happens here. Now, um, so it's funny that when I was listening to that album, I was doing um, skips originally, you know, um, because also I'm listening for you know, any mixing ish things that I need to fix and stuff. So I was definitely doing a major, major skip on um, Red Ruby and Big Difference. And then the other day, well, not too, I mean, just maybe yesterday, the day before, yeah, I don't know. But then, yeah, and then I said, you know what, let me see. And then I listened to it, and I said, oh, my gosh. Red Ruby the Sleaze currently is the Roman's Revenge of this album. And I says, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You see, the lashings upon lashings, the thrashings upon thrashings. Um, you know, and that's why I'm so glad I held off on putting something else on the album that wasn't its time. Because baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, if we going bar for bar for motherfucking bar, I wish the fuck y'all would say Roman could ever. All right, and now I'm going to give Roman his tens regarding his personality, child. You know. But when it came down to bar for fucking bar, oh wow, yeah, I, I, mm -mm. yeah, Red Ruby, yeah, it's just yeah. So okay, um, Roman lyrically was sweet red ruby. I didn't say Roman the cat. I didn't say Roman the person and wouldn't, um, you know, shit on her whole life. I said the song Roman's Revenge versus Red Ruby if we were going bar for bar. I said Red Ruby takes it and and you know what? Guess what? You don't I don't make the fucking rules, okay? I just abide by them. It's just the fucking truth. You see, Roman, Roman, he, you know, he's playful, he's funny. Red Ruby is not funny at all. 
you know, I am not Jasmine, I am Aladdin, so far I had these ones. See, Ruby don't throw away bars. You seen how Ruby came on. You seen how Ruby came on, right? Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Let me say something. Yeah, cause I I must have missed it. But what I do want to know is why is my like why isn't like why aren't my songs popping up? Like it only has like an it has like a a satellite dish. Why? Y'all, does that mean my Wi-Fi is not popping? Let me see. No, it should be. It's very interesting. So, um, now today's show is certain, um, certain things that went over y'all heads. Low key, my Wi Fi is always bad. Really? No. You know what? It's because I've been using this phone. This is my busted phone. I don't be using this phone for like real things. I don't, you know, because, see. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay. You know what? Now we're there. Good. Um, let's go. I'm going to go to fuck the club up, and then we're going to go back to go over some of them bars in Bobby Dangerous that y'all must have motherfucking missed, and we're going to do fuck the club up at the same now, okay? And yes, I'm whispering, I got to sneak past Papa, okay? And then I got to see, hopefully, the motherfucking door that I got to go to in my studio, hopefully it's open. So, write down whatever questions y'all got. Because remember, I didn't send out the official lyrics. Even though I'm supposed to, what I've been doing shit. Let's go.
Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so I didn't know how long were you guys like. I'm not. All right, now we're here. And guess where I'm at, bitches? The motherfucking studio. Guess where I'm at? The motherfucking studio. And guess who's here? Guess. Guess. Okay, so first of all, we were going to go back regarding bars that y'all didn't get. Um, Barbie Dangerous. So I think we pretty much covered that with the Range Rover. Um, line, right? Barbie Dangerous. You are over in the range of it. 111 Angel Numbers. I think we covered that. 111, right? Um, Splash and Suburb. Oh, this is a bar that I think is really fucking stupendous. Um, and I didn't see any of y'all mention it, but I also haven't had a lot of time this time to be able to see like the people responding to to it and stuff. So it's possible someone did say it, but I didn't see it yet. Um, I didn't see anyone say trying to make a trying to build another Barbie doll screws loose. Like, what? Screws motherfucking loose. In other words, the Barbie doll that you're trying to build, their screws are, you know, like if you're building something, the screws are loose, so so it's not put, put together tightly. It's, you know, so it can't really, you know. But then the audacity to think you can make another Barbie doll, you are missing screws. So we're trying to build another Barbie doll, screws loose. Because in order for you to build something, it requires screws. And your screws must also be fucking loose. If you thought you could build another Barbie doll. Name a rap, name a rapper that could channel Big Papa and push out Papa Bear. Ho, oh, I'm over the year. Every summer I come out to walk, bitches. Um, summer walk. I think I said that on Twitter. Every summer I come out to walk, bitches. Make them disappear, but to me it's just another year. She ain't got that kind of flair. Yo, I just went to listen to something and I nearly fell. Ooh, I can't, y- y- y'all. <laughs> um, cause at the end, what I'm saying is something about somebody ain't got that kind of flair, right? I just went and listened to something. I don't know why. I when I tell you, Chad, God really blessed Onika Tanya with the gift of rap. Oof. Anyway, she ain't got that kind of flair. She ain't got that kind of flair. Let me see what I'm aware. They gonna copy. I'm aware, Montclair. So let me see what I'm aware. She ain't got that kind of flair. Let me see what I'm aware. They gonna copy. But I'm aware of Montclair. Heavy on the arch. Facts. 
he was hitting from the back, then he asked what out is my head. Um, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so, so that I just wasted your time on that last part. That was not a a, a metaphor. Um, yeah. That was just the truth. Now, second verse says, hmm. I might have to listen to it. Y'all know I'm be Um, how ago? Oh, now see, this is the verse that sits you down. See, this is the verse, honey child. If you ever in your motherfucking life, ever in your life, thought you was, <laughs> hunty child, hunty child. And I took a couple bars off of it. I'm still mad I did. It was something about still they see me cooking and trying to take my rest out of pee. Bitch, get that me, she gonna rest out of pee. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you I'm that bitch, I'm that bitch, bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm different, ho. I'm a different kind of hoe. I'm a get the job done hoe. I'm the bitch you send when you want it done hoe. And now you're done hoe. Hold on, let me go back. We're going to start that one again. Um, hold on, because we're going to get through them and die. Um, so, um, so, so, why do I have to keep adding the things over and over? I don't want to. I don't. Oh, it's Pink Friday, too. So now we go to second verse of Barbie Dangerous. Follow along, class. I hope everybody's taking fucking notes. Because then when y'all get on y'all Barbie trivia and lose, y'all want to blame me. Right? Yeah. Let me see. Let me motherfucking see. How long? How long? How long? No. What? What? What is this? Alright. Wait, hold on, y'all. What? You know what? I'm about to start it over. Because I can't hear it. I'm stiff. You guys, I cannot hear it. Everybody takes their seats. The ushers file in. It's quiet. Always quiet. You know why? Mm, 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 mm. I'm just sitting here. You got a lot to prove. And while I'm sitting here, Watching you have a lot to prove and fail. (laughs) 
I think I'm just sitting here. You got a lot to prove. Appreciating my solitude. Now listen to this. This is the this is the part where you will see in the movie of Gag City. When a person tells you, appreciating my solitude, and the next thing out of their mouth says, beef ain't my go-to, but I got bags of this bread if we If you ever get told anything like that by anyone, if a person starts a sentence by telling you how, in, how, how much they're enjoying their peace and their solitude, and then they tell you, still as calm as ever, because you don't need the hoopla when you speak the truth, right? If that person, after telling you how calm and at peace they are, tells you, hey, beef ain't my go-to, like, baby, I don't want to, like, don't make me do, <clears throat> because, sweetheart, I got bags of this bread if we end up if we end up having to buy food now what that is is the ninja samurai the ninja nikki you know that there, there are many people that as they go through their life, people start telling them things like, oh, wow, you've changed so much. You're so calm. You've grown up. You're, you're, you're nicer. You're sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. But the consequences... become more dire. When you agitate a person who sits in their peace knowing they control every mother fucking piece that gotta move on that board just know, just know that that person may be a lot deadlier than the person that's going to do the rah-rah with you because the level of wisdom is different. And one thing about wisdom is that over time, it shows you and teaches you things in advance. It shows you your mistakes. And if you really want to become a person that's like really you know, living to your fullest capacity mentally. Whenever I say living a certain way, living to your fullest, people always think about money and they always think about material things. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be one of those people that says money can't buy happiness. And money, but the truth, but even though it can, I'm not gonna say it. Because I know how insulting it is when a person can't pay their 
uh, rent or when a person can't buy um, the amount of toys they want for their children and you tell them money can't buy, you know, that's very, that can be very insulting to someone. So I won't say it, but if you were to ask a room full of wealthy or rich people, they'd all say, no, it can't. But it's understandable. So we all can agree to disagree on that, knowing that we are at different walks in our lives, right? But the calmness of telling someone, I'm just sitting here, you got a lot to prove, appreciating my solitude, be fame my go to, but, but I got bags of this bread if we buying food. That is one of the top 10 bars on Pink Friday too, for many reasons, and I won't explain. Um. And I'm still queening. Chanel bags, day. Mm. Oh, hits, they still swing it. Holy fuck. Old hits, hits, like hit, like swing, like the ball, like swing, like batters up. Oh, hits. Like, bitch, my old hits. They still swinging. And then you go and you drop a monumental, iconic, game-defining album like this. Wait a minute, hold on, because we not going to go, we, 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 it's no way, it's no way, it is no way that, that you didn't realize the biggest, most catastrophic, the biggest statement of this album, one of the biggest statements of this entire album, move on my time and I ain't no demon. Fuck what's cool, boo boo. Fuck what's down. Fuck what's in. Onika Tanya. Onika Tanya. Sets the tone, sets the pace right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> And this is not about anyone. This is about everyone. Listen. Ho's words ain't got no meaning. Queen of this rap shit. Almost like you was going to say, I'm the queen of this rap shit. But to follow it by s blurring the words of shit and rhapsody, queen of this rap shit, s rhapsody, bohemian, bohemian rhapsody, queen of this rap shit. Yeah, I know you guys already know that one. But, like, what the fuck are they this woman must not have come. There's no way she came from this planet.
Hoes words ain't got no meaning. Queen of this fat shitty bohemian. <laughs> My nigga, I said they worst nightmare. They still dreaming. <laughs> Bitches jacking, I'm still queening. My gosh. My gosh. Because they ain't even, they woke up and thought, oh, we, all right, give it two days, somebody said on their team. Oh, yeah, that's going to be gone two days, child. Oh, then another person on their team said, oh, we just going to get Christmas, child. They ain't by here. And then another person said, oh, she ain't, ain't, ain't no songs on big radio songs. Ain't no big videos out, child. No man trading them. And then it's like, oh, oh spaghetti -os. When will you realize you are a pawn that is being used and being laughed at behind closed doors by those you think like you. Guinea pigs. So, the truth is, if you woke up yesterday morning, you have a right to be happy because you're blessed. You're up and a lot of people didn't wake up, but you did, you did. If you woke up today, you woke up today because for some reason, God saw it fit, okay? Now, is there any other part of Bobby Dangerous that I forgot, y'all? Um. What part? Oh, the spelling. You guys know the spelling part. Oh, you would too if you knew how did you. Oh, oh, and I'm still praying. Oh, good. Thank you for my. Now, remember, I started by saying I move on my time and I ain't no demon. You see, now we get to the end and I say, and I'm still praying. You would too, if you knew how these jealous bitches do. First 22 by 22, they don't know the half till they cracked in two. It's clear to see they want to be me. Hit the road, E X I T. My flow, they. <laughs> my flow, they B I T. But as a matter of fact, last year, I didn't pursue any um of my. You know, you know when, like. If a person uses your song or something, you have to pay them. Or if they put a, like a piece of your song in their in their song, they have to credit you and stuff like that. So you know, for the last couple, like I said, about two years, two years or so, I haven't really been, you know, been kind of like whatever. Um, there have been things that came across my desk to clear that I didn't clear. Um, and then there's other things that I came across that I did clear. Um, but those are not by, um, I don't think, big or artists that you guys would know about. But what I didn't do is I didn't, you know, uh, you know when people use my stuff for the last couple of years, I didn't, um, I didn't go and say, hey, you know, like the, this person used a couple of my lines. I'm technically a publisher on this song now, et cetera. I didn't do that. But now, oh, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't you fucking love the bad guy?
it was about forty to fifty songs that I was sent, right? And、um, you know, off the string, if I said, but no, no. You see, Papa Bear's mama worked very hard for those, for those flows and those bars and lines and everything. And Papa deserves it. Papa deserves the fruit of him, Mama Leba. Fuck wrong with you, ho. Why is my um thing out of order? It's not, but、oh, guys, come on, come on, guys, we can do it, guys. Now, after I said nine fifty, I ended both verses with nine fifty, but then I ended the outro with "Give me my tens." Um, you see, because well, you know what? It's not that important. It's just a cute little thing I thought after, but um. Here's the truth. I was not going to put "fuck the club up" on the album. Fuck this club up on the album. I was not going to put it on the album until I found the right chorus. And oh, remember I told y'all, y'all, I have recorded like a. <laughs> I caught myself recording a chorus to it, and I recorded like like I think. Like maybe two or three different ones, and and yeah, I was like, I don't like the chorus yet because you know, because like I told you guys, I was thinking about well, you know, it's a curse on it and for radio and stuff like that, and then it, you know, it was I said, like I said when I was when I let J Cole hear, hear it, he was like, what man, fuck all of that. And Drake, uh, was the first person to hear it that said he really loved it, as well. So, um, you know, but I loved the verses. You know, I loved the verses. But I just was like, how are we going to get around the F? Um, but you know, I just love how happy that song makes people feel. So now, shout out, shout out to Sky, Sky the Big Bob. Okay, she wanted. She said she wanted a cowgirl. Okay, one second. Cowgirl ended up becoming my favorite part of the whole song. Like I love everything about it. How we go, y'all? Um, how we gonna y'all say it? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Who said welcome to the show? Oh, my baby, at Shauna JJ said welcome to the show. Thank you. And guys, what are you giving me? Are y'all giving me stuff? It says supporter, supporter. Only thing y'all should be doing is buying the album. If you cannot buy an album, that means you guys are not streaming properly. That means you guys are streaming wrong. If you're not streaming directly and not being able to buy the album directly from your music, however you you listen to your music, right, guys? Is that true, guys? Okay, you already bought bought well, bought, bought again, chair. Wait, who? Thank you, Chandra. Thank, thank you, Chandra Chantel. Bye, bye again. Um. 
girl supporting me. Big Don one, I know y'all. He said, girl, he said, supporting me. We we did. I, I said, buy it again. Hi, easy breezy. Thank you, boo. But I just mean, I don't want you guys to send me um money or gifts or anything, guys. It's, you know, if you're, if you're hooked up to how you're supposed to be hooked up streaming, you should be able to buy an album, and that's way better, okay? But thank you. I appreciate you, and I love you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Onika's Crown. Oh, oh Onika Crown. I don't know if that's the same one. Now, I'm going to take some requests because you guys said it's okay that we... Thank you, VBS Donnie. Thank you. Um, let me see. I'm going to take some requests because I don't normally... If we connect our streaming service station, it can it counts as a stream. That's why you see it plus our buying the album. Oh, I'm done with it. Says if we connect our streaming service to Station Head, it counts as a stream. That's why you see it. Plus people are buying the album. Okay, boo boo. We'll buy another one. Okay, child. Stream it and buy. Okay, thank you. Oh, I, oh, Nika. Thank you, Nika. Well, how do I get to this now? Um, I'm gonna take some requests first of all, so I don't normally. <sighs> Here y'all go. Here y'all go. Here y'all go, chill. And y'all know I'm not even going there right now. Um, all right, all right, fine, fine. Okay, so. MCL37 has her request. This is her request. Boom. I need to see all my Caribbean girls, boys, whoever, all of y'all flags. Okay, so instead of saying bad bitches, I said, I said violent island girls. We get the thumbs up. Yitty. A bitch wanna be showing Barbie's right there. I'm my, my my name comes up. Whether I wanna say Barbie or Dolly, my name comes up. Violent Island girls, we get the thumbs up. Now, if you from any Caribbean island, if you from any island period, if you from a different country, if you from any African country. If you from any any Indian country, if you from any Asian country, if you from any country, y'all know we about to turn the fuck up. Okay? Shout out to my Lagos girls right now. We about to bring that the fuck back. Shout out, Skilly Bang. Shout out, Skate. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. So, I didn't tell you guys about how that song came about. Now, y'all, if y'all would prefer me shut up and just play the music, I want y'all to comment, shut up, play music. If y'all prefer the backstories behind the song, say, backstory behind song. Tag, my blobs is nosy, child. They all saying backstory. Okay. Okay, well, shout out to Skilly Bang and Skang. Now, if you guys remember, when I came out, you know, with Be Me Up Scotty re-release of the mixtape, um, maybe a little bit over a year ago, whatever, or something, um, I uh, jumped on Skilly Bang's Crocodile Teeth song. And, um, you know, Drake actually had mentioned it to me, like, yo, I should, you know, you heard that song, da da da. And when I heard it, I fell in love with it. And, you know, I wrote a quick little 16, you know, bars to it or whatever. I wasn't, in, I actually was only planning on maybe adding one additional song, you know, for seeing, um, for the re release of Being Me Up Scotty. So I wasn't really, you know, um, but when I heard that song, I loved it right away. I loved uh, Skilly Bang's style. I love that he is who he is. He's very comfortable in his skin, and I love that. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Just 
like ushering a new wave of the um, dance hall artists. Uh, and when I say it, I'm not only talking about sonically, but I'm talking about the way um, they carry themselves, the way they present themselves, you know? Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different, you know, it's, it's very different. Um, yet it is so born authentically Jamaican, like you, you know what I'm saying? Like trend setting, it's still all of that stuff. Silly bang. Um, so that's how I really got up on him in terms of that song, um, Crocodile Team. Um, anyway, so cut two, me and Skang, there was another, there was a couple other songs me and Skang had, and I was trying to figure out, Dad, I know I want to put, you know, dance hall on this album because uh, Pink Friday 1, I was very, very much so in my dance hall bag leading up to writing that album and during that time. So it was a lot of like little dance hall references every now and then. Um, but, you know, I, I never made it a secret how Beanie Man um, really shaped my childhood as I grew up in New York once I came from Trinidad. Um, because by the time I was, you know, a bit old enough to know about music and stuff like that, it was just Beanie Man. You know, of course, Beanie, um, Bounty, um, Lady Saw, you know, of course, um, Super Cat. And y you guys hear me um, um, incorporate them a lot. Like, you guys know I love Ninja Man. Um, you know, so anyway, um, someone that I'm actually... Recently, I did a remix with the Little Miss Skeng song. Remember, guys? And and Dancehall Queen uh, Spice was on there. Um, um, and we and so many of the women that I think are so talented um, are on there. So shout out to all of them. Shout out to my baby Pompey's head. Shout out to um, Lisa Mercedes, <clears throat> uh, London Hill is on there. Um, Lady Leisha is on there. Um, Dovey. Um, Queen Destra from our country, Destra Garcia. And um, Patrice, my baby Patrice is on there. And it was just something that I was playing around with. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But it was a just a fun experience. Anyway, so you guys know I love um my, my Caribbean stuff and going back to Carnival for for uh, I mean going back to Trinidad for Carnival recently, um it was like one of the best experiences I had in my in a in a long time because when I had gone down there before I didn't know but I was I mean I knew I was pregnant but I had already booked my my um. Like, I had already told everybody I was coming down there prior to knowing I was going to be pregnant. Um, and so when I did go down there, um, we had to be on extra a, a high alert. But I was also very sick. I didn't even know that you could have that level of bad morning sickness, you know. I didn't know that it was like that. I didn't, And I also didn't know morning sickness could, stay, you know, last for all day. You don't got to be in the dag all morning. So I went there and I couldn't, you know, be jumping up and all that stuff. And oh my God. So this last time when I went to Carnival, this last time when I went, the reason why you guys was able to see me being my true element and just be so happy is because I didn't have a little um, person in my tummy at that time. Um, and I was able to just enjoy myself and I had a really beautiful time. But also y'all think about it during that time when Pink Friday came out, y'all know how heavily influ influenced I was by Dance Hall. Um, so is my favorite female rapper of all time, Foxy Brown, who, so who's from my country as well. She's very, um, heavily influenced. I can't, um, I can't do the accent like Foxy, but you know, you know, I'm always try at least. Um, the other thing is. Y'all, there is one, I might play it, like if I go, I might play it on live, or, well, I don't know. But there's another bridge that I did for the for the song with Drake, though, too. And I really liked it. Um, That was later on, though. I might let you guys hear it. It's the one, it goes in, in 
in place of the baby. And you still my baby. Um, yeah. But um, I, I want to let you guys hear it one day really soon. But yeah, so <clears throat> so then, so I had um, Skilly come by to the studio. I played him some stuff um, me and Skang had. And um, it just so happened that it was this one beat that I had forgotten to play for Skang. And because of that, when me and Skang was in the studio, that was the one beat we didn't touch. Um, and so, but it was my top beat out of all the beats that I had gotten for, for the dance hall song, that was my favorite beat, but I just didn't have it in that folder. So we ended up forgetting. But when Skilly Bang came months later, all of a sudden something reminded me of that beat and I played it. And he was like, you could just tell. You could tell he wasn't really excited about the other ones that I had played. This one he was really excited about immediately. And um, he's really funny. I loved being around him. So I love being around Skeng as well. Um, they, they have different personalities, but they both still my type of nigga. Like, never the, they not the do too much type of nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? They got they... They low source is just, you know what I'm saying? It's just right. Um, I, I like guys like that. So, anyway. So, Skilly hears this beat. And I said, I stepped out. I went in the house. Left him in the studio. And I came back in like, maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. And um, 30 minutes or whatever, maybe. I left him in there with Juice. And he had all of the stuff that you hear now on the song. <laughs> um, he didn't have, of course, he didn't know that I was going to make his bars the chorus of the song. But I was like, yeah, I really love that part. Like, that's dope. Um, but I definitely wasn't going to call the song. No, nothing with my name in it. Like, I was like, we can't call it nothing like that. To me, that would have just made it super corny. Um, I said, don't, don't no bitch want to be posting no song talking about something bad like Nikki, like what? Um, I wanted to make it a song that's, you know, like just whatever. So, um, so Skilly never heard the complete, complete thing. He heard, I think, most of it because the last person to record on the record was Skang. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm telling you, I think I found the one I'm going to use, and I would hate for you not to be on it. Um, Skilly uh, bodied it, and I know you would be the finishing, you know, piece of the puzzle because his voice is so distinctively different. Um, like, you know how Skilly's voice is so, and I, and I don't, and not in a disrespectful way, because in no way have they come close to what Beanie and Bounty have done. So please don't, when I say this, I don't want to have people saying, da, 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 not comparing, but you know in the way where Beanie's voice is so distinctly, is distinctly different from Bounty's voice. And you know what I mean? And so whatever, um, or, or how like Saw had this really distinct voice um that just put the source on everything she would do um anyway so i was like yo if we could have that skin voice with it because i kind of have a high pitchy voice and da -da 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 -da. and lo and behold i did the same thing with skin juice pull it up i walked out left him a little bit came back in and i was like yikes 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 now, I told him to add a few bars just in case I wanted to do any back and forth stuff. But when I ended up getting to it, I um I ended up taking out two lines out of his verse and just putting it in, you know, instead of making the song even longer. And of course, the go papa, go papa, go papa, it reminds me of, you know, some Trini type of vibe. But of course, I'm talking to my son. I played it for him yesterday because we have speakers in, in the house. 
So I, I <laughs> we was, I was trying to record him while he heard that part, but he didn't. He do be doing his own little moves, but he and he was saying Papa. So I don't know if he knows that that's Mama singing to him or not. But yeah, so shout out to all of my girls that rep for whatever country you repping for, and all of my boys too, winding your ways line and stuff, and you know. And yes, are y'all asking me, am I coming to Trinidad? Of course I'm coming to Trinidad. Uh, what's wrong? Where we at now, y'all? Where were we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sapphire wants to go back here. Let's go back here real quick. Okay. Um... All right, Buss and Brit wants to hear this. I will play her request. Calm down before you speak to the people you love. Really try to calm down. And, um... You know, we've all we've all been there. Okay, so Dion Zelonsky, his request is Well, um, the first verse is about my dad, and my and the second verse is about my dear old Nikki part two sequel, which is new Nikki speaking to old Nikki. But this second verse, it is grown up Onika talking to inner child Onika. Yeah. Anyway. Um. You know when somebody trying to get you up out their house and they be like, "What you about to do?" <laughs> and no, I'm not playing no more dag on my life. I played it more. I played it like two times. That's enough. More than enough. Um. I still did not get a chance to sign and send in all of the original CDs that you guys bought. <laughs> but I am signing some more because... You know, But I don't know. I don't know how anybody can possibly sign all of this. I don't know. It takes a long time, guys. Okay, but we gonna we gonna try to um. Let me go to my other thing and see what they over here requesting. Manage guests. Oh, I didn't know I can invite people. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Uh-uh, Chad. 
Oh no, you don't deserve that at all at all. Um so y'all Yeah, you already know. Um hmm. Oh, okay. Well, Barb's V has this. And I don't think we've played this today. So, let's play this one real quick. Um, no. What? No? Okay. Now. So, you guys, basically, um... You know what? I think I'm going to cook now. I'm about to cook me some. I'm about to cook me some yellow rice. And what else? And what else? But I kind of did want to make mac and cheese because just thinking back um and the house everyone's been doing is everyone's okay is everyone well Um, it's mad warming. Uh, hi, Trini Massive. Good, yes, you are very much blessed, and um. So what are you, um, what, what time is it? What time is it where you are right now, y'all? If y'all tell me to play Memories one more time, as if y'all can't not listen to it on y'all own. Okay, so y'all pretty much some Americanos today, tonight. Okay, I see a lot of time. 9 AP. Um, okay. All right, all right. Um, so you want to know what's crazy, y'all. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, we're restocking. But you guys, you can you can also get vinyls online, number one. Um I'm thinking if I wanna add something. To another digital, another digital. But anyway, in the meantime, and we'll be and we'll be announcing some more dates for the tour very soon. And this tour is definitely going to be the best tour thus far because. And it's just going to look, it's just going to look, first of all, marvelous. But in addition to that, obviously, my energy is just one. Yes. Therefore, therefore, this will have a lot of moments for life. 
this tour that we're about to do and complete. One thing about doing being like on tour and stuff, then it's like it's always another thing that comes in. Like, oh, well, can you do this thing? Can y'all do this show? Well, can y'all come to this planet? And, you know, hey, here's the deal. Um, none of your fucking business. Oh, God. All you need to do is worry about mm. <laughs> All right, so guys, um Yeah, I gotta um listen to some stuff real quick and I'll be back. And, of course, I want to tell you guys that you guys are amazing. Shout out to everyone listening to support me. Everyone who is listening not to support me, may you have seven years curse beginning now. Listening for anything other than support of Onika Tanya Mirage and the Barbs um, and our having fun. Yes, you heard me, bitch. So, guys, remember, you are worthy to be loved, okay? Um, what? Somebody said, girl, don't be cursing people. Oh, it must have been you then. (laughs) It's at K Zane. Don't tell me what to do and what to not motherfucking do. She wrote your motherfucking mind. You heard what the fuck I said. That's what happens when you're in people business. And when you're listening for gossip, and when you're listening to run and tear back, and when you're listening to 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 be wishing bad on people that we already we already got the rundown, Chad. It's already on our desk. Boom boom. So yeah, that's right. I curse they ass. Had you been listening for the right reasons, you wouldn't have got head up in that cat 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 cat. But see, the Barb's is very happy, and they don't care because they know they weren't the ones that were, were cursed because they know they just got all of their blessings, and they know they got praise for as always, child. Because they were simply listening to support mother and to... um. Hang out with mother. And now look. God is about to do miracles in their lives. Working wonders that they've never seen before. And they will be so happy in 2024. And they will be filled with peace. Love all around them. Okay, they will get the job and the careers that they want. They will get the blessings that they've been praying for. Okay, that's them. And that's that. That's what you get. See? Because if I don't like somebody, it's no way I'm sitting on no radio station. And then when motherfuckers fuck around and get cursed, now they mad. Now all night they got to go home. They All night they sleeping thinking about, oh, shit, fuck, damn. Why I, I got to be such a hating ass, ugly asshole type shit? You see what I'm saying? But if you simply... Uh, put your positive energy onto what you like and what you love and stop minding people's bi- pussy and, and, and assholes 
that don't got nothing to do with you and all up in my, sh you know what I'm saying? Then see, you don't get them kind of curveballs. Pause. You know what I'm saying? On the other hand, the barbs that support, and even when they, they just support in their own way. Okay? Yeah. Now. And you can put it in. But you know what I want? Um, I just cursed some some people listening on here. I cursed them because they was um they thought they been because you know every time I do something they be in here trying to be staring and, and stalking and then in the middle of what I was saying, I cursed they ass. And now they mad. Talking about, girl, why are you saying cursing paper? Oh, well, right? That's a whole, that's a whole super fact. Let them know. One thing about that man, he gonna ride with me. <laughs> if I say it's off with your head, it's off with your motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't gonna ask no question. <laughs> and oh my goodness, when I tell you, and then everybody that knows him will tell you that, okay? He ain't about to ask no questions. <sighs> anyway, so yeah. Oh, so one person has a red signature on their insert. Now, make sure you let me know if you got two inserts. Because, you know, we want to make sure ain't nobody trying to be stupid. Um, and you know, you guys, I hope you did enjoy yourselves, even if, and it's still the holiday season, actually, it's not, it's not done yet, but like I told you last time, don't feel pressure to do things the way other people do them. Your happiness is your happiness, and your confidence is your confidence. You know? So if you want to take a glass of wine and simply meditate, do it. That's that. Um, but, you know, yeah. Please, whatever you do, don't. Well, I ain't going to say that. Let me chill. Um... So anyway, which y'all? I'd say this is about a thousand. A thousand, I'd say. Anyway, so guys, let me see. Oh, everybody probably hung up. Oh. All right. So what? So did y'all want to continue talking? What y'all finna do? Um, stay a little longer. Um, okay, well, oh, you know what? I'm about to spray these, these inserts right now with the new perfume. It's gonna be smell and maggot. Okay, you guys, let's um let's start with now y'all, what has been the grower? What has been the one that grew on you guys the most that you didn't expect? 
Okay. See, I didn't understand who and how y'all didn't get pink birthday. I mean, I know most of y'all did, but the ones that didn't get pink birthday at first, I was wanting to look at y'all like y'all was uh tum tum tum. But yeah, I see you yeah, now because you just kind of just let us sit in there and just be like going up and down and around. Okay, someone said blessings, not gonna lie. Someone said needle that they love, said that. Um, King B2 said forward from Trini. Um, oh, I am. Somebody said, let me calm down. Somebody said, my life. Epic Weekend Barb said the whole album. Okay, so Epic Weekend Barb, you thought you you ain't you ain't think you was gonna like the whole album? Yeah. What the hell is you talking about? Uh, uh, hunting. <sighs> okay, so I see needles. I see Barbie. Dangerous. Barbie, dangerous. How could you not like that? Yeah, bomb bomb with me is either you know here or there. Like I said, I was not. No, I can open it. Thank you. Like I said, I was not gonna put that on the um, project. Really. Um, um. But yeah, Nikki Hendrix. Oh, so you are a Nikki Hendrix hater, and we've been trying to put you on. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> See, this is the thing. This is the thing about music. Music is listened to in order to do something for you on the inside. And whatever it does to you on the inside is not required to be spoken of. It's not required to be Twitter fingered about, right? But what happens now is we we feel the need to give our um you know our, our initial thoughts and that's there's nothing wrong with that because it's just that you know we live in a different day and age. But you can always bet your bottom dollar. You know, by that third week, I'd say if it's an artist that you care about, you know, if it's an artist that you care to, you know what I'm saying. By that third week, you should really know where you um where you stand with it and stuff like that. I see a lot of y'all requesting blessings. I'm not even trying to be funny. Duke of Duke of Minaj, it's a Morgan 14, Hoochie Radio, Black Bob. Everybody's requesting blessings. So I wouldn't have played it right now, but hey, I have to give them what they're requesting. Okay. In love with that song, like when I tell you obsessed, when I tell you, oh boy, in love, in love, in fucking love, in fucking love. Um, ATL Jacob, shout out to ATL Jacob. Um, like I told you guys, I didn't love how it first came out. Well, I loved it, but then when I slept on it, I didn't love it. And I was like, no, we need some something with the beat. I don't know. And then ATL Jacob did a whole other beat. I think he did a couple other ones. And I heard bits and pieces of another beat that I liked. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to sit with Juice, and I'm going to take out the parts that I love from this new beat. Because I didn't want to make it stray too far from the original one I had done. So I took out all the parts um, by hand. Specifically, I mean, all the parts where I wanted the strings to be. And if you listen at the end, the strings begin to get louder than the actual lyrics 
almost like if something is almost as if it's someone were to be falling, their voice would be getting further and further away. Because first, the fall of the you is right in your face, and then by the time all that other stuff at the end comes in, it's much more in the beat. So it's the so it's the the actual words falling for you themselves are seem to have gotten lower. Um. But it's that drum at the fucking end that, oh my god. If there was a such thing as climaxing off of a, a like, music, and I was by you, like that drum, whatever the fuck. That last, that last drum part, oh my gosh, when I'm talking about. Like, you don't even gotta get it warmed up. You could, like, put it in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Did that. Um. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um. It's. I. I. Yeah. And. And you know what I'm noticing, you guys? Um. Well, ugh, I hate talking about. I hate talking about horoscopes because I don't, you know, I don't really believe in, you know what I'm saying, like, but I, you know, but there are lots of coincidences, but I don't want to promote that type of stuff to anybody, if you, you know what I'm saying, so, but what I noticed about ATL Jacob and Kai, right, they're both very young, but both so talented and are probably both going to be the, you know, the, what you call the, you know, the generational curse breakers in your family. Um, the first person or the first person to go to college or the first person to become a millionaire or, you know, shit like that. Thank you, darling. I love how you don't need a rap beef or gimmicks to have a successful pro- project. This album is Chef Kiss. Thank you to Miss Shay Levine. Thank you, boo. Yeah, and I knew that I knew that my fans were very um were becoming anxious and nervous. Um, and it wasn't, you know, their fault. They just know me. They know that I'll fuck around and, you know, go right the fuck to sleep and won't, you know, pick up my phone for a month. Um but the thing is, um, but I knew that my fans had no idea the level of the music. I knew that, see, it's been a very long time since, number one, even I dropped my last album. And I think that a lot of the, you know, especially for like the newer fans, I think that they don't understand the difference between a a an iconic song and I and an iconic album, you know. Um, and I knew that this album was going to be <sighs> the album that I've been trying to really create my whole career. But it's no way of telling you guys those things, and a lot of things. I just purposely have to be misleading about, obviously. Um, you know, you'd be surprised. I have a lot of other things to say, but I'm not going to get there right now. Um, you know, because I want to... Yeah. But but anyway, so shout out... But what I, what I was saying was I noticed as a Sagittarius, I always felt like I was was, so to speak thinking in terms of getting to the money. Even as a young person, to me, I always felt like, nah, man, I ain't waiting on nobody to get it from me. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, be out there. I'm about to just, whatever. Like, I had no fear of... It's funny. Some people have a fear of not making it. Um, 
like in terms of some people have a fear of if I get told no, I've, I'll feel so bad because I'll be so da da da. And then some people, their fear, their fear for continuing to live in poverty, their fear for that is even greater. So they're like, man, fuck this shit. Can't nothing be worse than this shit. I'm not have to risk it all. If, you know what I mean? Well, not your soul. Not your soul. Not your soul. Um, but, um, but, um, but, um, but anyway, so what I was saying was, it's interesting that I was about to tell y'all about the ATL Jacob, who's a Sag, and he's a very young Sag, just how, like, Kai is a young Sag, and I remember when I was a young Sag, and how people, like, adults would look at me like, almost as if they thought I was crazy sometimes because I would be saying things that I was going to do, but they would be thinking that I was just talk, like, you know, just talking, like maybe a kid would just be saying random stuff. And I was, and I used to be like, no, I'm about to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, Charge your phone right now. Yeah. So, so Sagittarius, I'm starting to realize not all, but a lot of them, they are strong-willed. So, so when the normal person is not yet figuring out what they think they want to do for the rest of their lives, a lot of times... Sages usually be like, oh no, I'm not only am I doing it, but I'm about, I'm about to be the best at it. I'm about to be the like, you know. So I think that's pretty dope. Um now you guys, so that means don't worry. I am gonna be putting up more science cities very soon. Shout out to this the people who were able to get theirs the first week or the second week. I just asked about when you guys would be getting the rest of them, like the new ones, the new signed CDs. Um, those might not even ship to you until the second week of January, guys. I just asked today. Either way, what I was getting at was that, yes, Always must be about the music. That's why always must be about your passion. If it's about anything else, it's what? <sighs> Kiss the success goodbye at the fake passion. And kiss the real passion goodbye because now you didn't spend so much time Faking the other thing, passion. You feel me? So what I would say is, guys, don't be nobody's fool. Don't ever be delusional. I think delusional is the scariest thing you could be in this world right now. Now what you speak on and what you don't, it up to you. But I feel so sorry for who just don't realize the obvious. And you know why? Why? Why do they do that shit, man? What, Simone? Okay. Well, here. Here's what I'm going to do. What? What is your, I'm going to play two more songs, and I'm going to give you some backstory about it. What haven't I given you guys backstory on? And you guys, did I, did I or did I not play Barbie Dangerous just a second ago when we started playing from the, I felt like we started playing from the top. Um. Oh, I did play Barbie Dangerous. Okay. I'm not playing my life again, so knock it off, y'all. Oh, thank you, Brielle Buffy. Love you. 
She bought an album. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um. Um, no, -uh. I did play my life. You just weren't here. Oh, we got 2,500 in sales. So wait, I'll be thinking that that'd be the same thing going up and up. So is that, do that be the, do that be from each new show, y'all? Because I was like, so wait a minute, 2,500 albums in three weeks. Let me, uh-uh. Wait. Wait, is it? Oh, no, so it adds up. Right, that's total. Okay. Oh, hi, Prince Quint. Prince Quince. Um, okay. Anyway, so, y'all, do what y'all gotta do for a second. Okay. Thank you, Katie Tings. I'm not... And if I can come back after a second, I will hit y'all up and come back, okay? Hold me down, boos. Thank you, Bob84. Um, but now the tour is going to be immaculate. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be next level. It's going to be... Incredible! It's going to be all those things, all those uh, everything I was typing y'all about about the album and telling you guys, oh wow, 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 wow! Trust me, trust me, trust me. And I couldn't, um, you know, talk about a bunch of stuff, but I'll bring you on stage for Red Ruby, Mexico. We're we're going to put out more dates. We're going to put out more dates, you guys. And I would love to, even though I've been to Mexico, I believe twice, but I don't think I came to do my own show there. I think I came to um, MTV, was it? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, give me a little bit of time because I have to finish by, uh, like, signing all these things. But I love you dearly. God bless you guys. Okay, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, Yorkie Barbie. Love you. Um, all right, so give me a few minutes and let me, let me see how much I have to send these people. And in the meantime, in between time, 